Thank you for joining us tonight. Our program will begin shortly. The program will run around 25 minutes and will include live comments from our executive director as well as a video about how we are responding to the COVID-19 crisis. Please feel free to write comments or questions in the chat section located to the right of the video. We will respond to some of the questions during the program. And now, I would like to welcome the executive director of Neighbors Link, Carola Otero Bracco. Welcome everyone. I am Carola Otero Bracco. And now more than ever, it is my privilege to serve as the executive director of Neighbors Link. These past few months have been difficult for all of us. And for the immigrant families that Neighbors Link serves, this has been a devastating time. We have witnessed families deal with economic crisis, medical hardship, and significant trauma. But it has also been a time of hope because all of you and this community have rallied around Neighbors Link, helping us offer creative and innovative programs. And in a few moments, we'll be sharing with you a short video so that you can see Neighbors Link's response to the COVID-19 crisis. But before we get to that, it's my honor to introduce to you Cynthia Brill, our honoree for this evening. Cynthia has served on the Neighbors Link Board of Directors for the past 10 years, and most recently, she served as our board chair. Cynthia was instrumental in bringing the Neighbors Link community law practice to our organization, and she loaned us her legal expertise as we developed our legal strategy. Tonight, I also introduce to you Andrew Tisch, who we will be honoring with our Gabby Rosenfeld Award. Gabby Rosenfeld was a much loved and dedicated community member who also served on the board of directors of Neighbors Link. We also remember fondly Gabby's wife, Louise. Now, please join me in welcoming Cynthia Brill. Hi, everyone. I know this is not how we had hoped to gather, but I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to join together in this virtual space to celebrate the critical work of Neighbors Link. I've had the pleasure of serving on the Neighbors Link board since 2010. During this time, I've watched the organization grow and respond to many challenges, but the crisis that we've been facing with COVID-19 is really beyond anything that we have ever experienced. Thanks to your help, Neighbors Link has been able to serve the immigrant community during this time in extraordinary ways. Food has been distributed, legal and crisis services have been able to be offered to our clients. We have even been able to sustain regular family programming and English language programming remotely. While our clients are facing an enormous battle right now, Neighbors Link will be able to stand by them in this battle thanks to your help. Thank you so much for honoring me tonight. Truly, I am honored to be part of this important work and I'm grateful to all of you, to our sponsors, to our donors, to our allies who have stepped forward during this critical time. You have been able to ensure that Neighbors Link has been available to meet the needs of, of our clients. I'd like now to introduce our Gabby Rosenfeld Be a Hero honoree, my dear friend, Andrew Tisch. Andrew is the co-chair of the Lowe's Corporation. He's deeply involved in higher education and civic organizations across the country. His book, Journeys, an American story celebrates the vastness and variety of immigration tales in America. Andrew has some remarks to share with you. Thank you. Good evening, and thank you to Neighbors Link and to Cynthia Brill for introducing me to this great organization. I'm honored to be here tonight to learn about the work that Neighbors Link is doing for the immigrant community, especially during these challenging and unprecedented times. I've been interested in the immigrant experiences for some time. A few years ago, I had the privilege of being invited by the New York Historical Society 
to speak at a swearing-in ceremony for 100 new citizens. Being part of that experience helped me truly understand that a family's arrival to the United States is more often than not the monumental event in the family's experience. Based on that experience, my co-author Mary Scafidis and I created Journeys, an American Story, which is a collection of stories from people all over the United States. These stories tell how our country is greater than the sum of its parts. Each person brings a unique perspective and experience that makes our country stronger and more vibrant. We become a glorious mosaic of different colors, textures, and cultures, not just the traditional melting pot. I'm grateful to be in a place where my family and I are comfortable, healthy, and well-fed. And I am acutely aware that everyone is not in that position, that we need to make America the land of opportunity for all who choose to come. That is why now more than ever, we need to remember that it is important for all of our country to come together, to recognize that we recover faster, we become stronger, when we welcome the strengths and contributions of all residents, including and especially the newest among us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew and Cynthia, for the important contributions that you've made to help integrate the whole community. And now I'd like to invite you all to watch a short film that we've created to share with you the work that Neighbors Link has done over these past few months. Neighbors Link has always been a beacon of hope for immigrant families in Westchester County, and this is true now more than ever. Our local immigrant community has been deeply impacted not only by the public health crisis, but by the economic and social disruptions caused by COVID-19. Hourly and seasonal workers are no longer able to find employment. Families who are already having difficulty making ends meet may not be able to afford food and other necessities. Individuals without access to health insurance are wondering what to do if they get sick. Neighbors Link is finding new and innovative ways to continue serving the whole community during this time of extreme need and stress while adapting to the current requirements of social distancing. Although our rooms are now empty, we are working remotely to keep families connected. Our virtual family center helps learning continue at home, but more importantly brings hope, joy, and a little color to all of our lives during a time of fear and uncertainty. We are also responding to the urgent needs that families are facing. The Neighbors Link Community Law Practice has increased emergency legal services and is sharing video updates and webinars on critical legal topics. Buenas tardes. Hola. Be the managing attorney of the neighbors questions or need assistance. Hi, my name is Mena. Hola, soy Leslie Molina. We are helping low income and recently unemployed clients obtain food and grocery store gift cards and are ensuring that individuals who do not have access to kitchens are able to get hot meals. Through our partnership with Feeding Westchester, our staff and volunteers are working tirelessly to distribute food to hundreds of families, including those who are housebound or quarantined, ensuring that no one goes hungry. We are providing crisis support to families across our community and are keeping isolated families connected by moving our regular programming online. Hi, neighbors, Link ESL. Gracias a todos los participantes del Centro Familiar Virtual. Hi, my name is Families. We have some resources I would like to share with you. Thank you, Virtual Family Center participants. Your creativity amazes us every day. In short, we are doing what we have always done although in new and innovative ways. We are coming together to support each other and our community as we go through this crisis together. We have always said that the true measure of the community is how we treat each other 
And that is more true than ever right now. Thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Katie Graves AB, and I work in development and communications here at Neighbors Link. Thank you to Wendy Reingold for producing that beautiful video for us. And now we're going to take a few questions from our live chat. So, Corolla, we have a question here. In what ways are immigrants in our community being most severely impacted by this crisis? Thank you, Katie. I think the most significant impact on the immigrant community has been economic. We have seen the immigrant community, they were the first people called in to deep clean office buildings, for example. Many serve as home health care workers, and certainly restaurant workers and landscapers have all lost their jobs. So we have seen the most significant impact to be economic. Absolutely. Uh, we have another question here. They want to know how did the tax stimulus and the other government benefits impact immigrants? Are immigrants eligible for any of those government benefit programs? That's a great question, Katie. Uh, the, the federal stimulus package has very cruelly left out immigrants in a variety of ways. One of the most important is that many U.S. citizen and green card holders, immigrants with social security numbers, have been left out of the cash stimulus package. So unless their whole family has a social security number, they have been disqualified from that program. In Thank addition... You. I, I want to add also, Katie, that in addition to that, um, immigrants have also been left out of the expanded Medicaid that was available through the federal stimulus package. So many undocumented immigrants are not able to access uh, testing or treatment for COVID-19 through the expanded Medicaid, Medicaid package. I will add that in the state of New York, the state of New York expanded Medicaid to make sure that undocumented immigrants were able to qualify for testing, but that's only because the state of New York stepped up. Thank you. Uh, another question we got is, um, we're hearing a lot about the psychological trauma that people are experiencing as a result of COVID-19. Do you think that affects the immigrant community in unique ways? I do. I think one of the most heartbreaking things we've seen is that when parents, family members become ill with the coronavirus, because they live in such small quarters, it's very difficult for them to isolate themselves. So they know that if a parent or a family member gets sick, they know that the whole family is going to get sick. And we have found that to be extremely traumatic for the families that we serve. Absolutely. We had one more question. Um, somebody wanted to know how many families is Neighbors Link serving right now? Great. So Neighbors Link typically with all of our programming serves about uh, 4,200 people through our ESL programs, through our parent education, through our workforce development and our immigration legal services. Now, in addition to that, because of COVID-19, we are feeding about 2,500 people a week. Wow, that is amazing. Um, thank you, Paula. I think that's all the time we have right now for live questions, but keep, please keep entering questions in the chat box and we will respond to those questions tonight. Now, we have a special message from the Friends of Neighbors Link, a group of dedicated volunteers who have been invaluable to Neighbors Link's fundraising efforts and have also been incredible volunteers during the COVID-19 crisis. The Friends wanted to send a message to all the supporters who are attending our benefit tonight. From the friends of Neighbors Link. Thank, thank, you, you, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the uh, very dynamic friends of Neighbors Link and to all the volunteers that have helped us during these difficult times. And now I'd like to take a moment and thank our sponsors and especially our platinum sponsors who are Bank of New York Mellon and our dear Agnes and Gerald Hassel. I'd also like to thank our gold sponsors, Curtis Instruments, Vicki and Stuart Marwell, Lisa and Mark Schwartz, and Maya and Edward Manley. So thank you very much to our sponsors.
Now, as we close out the evening, I'm very excited to let you all know that we have two funders who have agreed to offer a matching grant of $60,000. So we hope that you will help us meet our goal and uh, receive this match of up to $60,000. You will see a link in the chat and you can also go to neighborslink.org to donate. I want to thank you all for joining us tonight and for all the support you've given this organization as Neighbors Link has worked hard to meet the needs of this community. We really couldn't do it without you. So thank you all and stay healthy. Good evening. <music>